you are going to pray and say, Lord, this is the season where you are changing his level, changing her level. Go ahead and prophesy. Prophesy. How great you are. How great you are. Oh, your level must change. How great you are. Koinonia, it's time for a new season. It's the season of the rain. Don't be a spectator. My financial level must change. My spiritual life must change. My change. The grace of God upon my life must move higher. I'm ready to obey. How great you are. Oh, oh, oh. How great you are. Hey, how great you are. How great you are. How great you are. How great you are. Lift your hands and let me prophesy over your life. There is, see, for Koinonia, God is shifting us. I know it. I feel it. You can choose to believe it. You can sit down there and let other people just through the tapes. Or you can connect to the anointing and say, this is my season. I place a demand on everything that works in this house. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Let the spirit of faith, the capacity to obey God without reservation, the meekness, the childlikeness to obey God, let it be released upon your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that as a result of this teaching tonight, let there be rain of testimonies. Let there be miracles upon miracles upon miracles. Financial miracles. Miracles of multiplied graces. Miracles of marriages. Miracles of breakthroughs. Miracles of favor. Miracle lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, that the influence of the kingdom comes upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you will begin to command influence across your territory by the mystery of the oil of gladness let it take you above your fellows hallelujah I pray in the name of Jesus that the mantle of honor that which makes men he said, and Jabez was more honorable than is for you in the name of Jesus. That beginning from tonight, everywhere you go, you will find men who will honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will find men who will honor you. I pray for everything that is placed. I don't care what it is. By the same power that raised Christ from the dead, I speak to everything that is dead in your life. I command it tonight. Come back to life. Dead academic situations. Come back to life now. Dead financial situations. Come back to life now. Dead family situations. Come back to life. Hear me. Whatever has covered your glory. And has stopped men from seeing the hand of God. I tear that veil into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. That has stopped men from favoring you. They used to bless you, but something happened mysteriously. The same people are still around, but the blessings have stopped. I connect you by faith to that flow of the blessing. Christ. It's a season where you must bear fruit. I prophesy upon you. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Multiply. In the name of Jesus. Replenish. I command that you sobkness. And every force of witchcraft. And every curse and every enchantment. 
and I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus have dominion everywhere you go let there be an anointing on you anyone that comes under the jurisdiction of your influence I compel them to bless you I compel them to know you in the name that is above all names I command that a book of remembrance Makato Toto Balakata like Mordecai whoever has done good and your 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 reward right as you sleep in the heavenlies let the book of remembrance be open may my God use strangers to bless you may you use strangers to bring your business back to life may my strangers to bless your family and I pray for you greater levels of the anointing you belong to a ministry that works in an ever increasing anointing may that be at work in your life I command that the level you are in the anointing you have lingered there for too long step up to a new level step up to a new level anointing a new level of the anointing of prophecy a new level of the gifts of the spirit in the name of Jesus I release this power from here on stage upon this altar I prophesy it. let it touch you and let it change you in the name Lord your people must bear result I command you be fruitful I command it be fruitful stood fruitful workers be fruitful in the name of Jesus businessmen be fruitful everything that has refused to work I invoke the laws of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I command in a miracle things begin to work whoever needs to call you this week whoever needs to connect you whoever needs to come to your business whoever needs to give you a job I prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus may my father bring them to you hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise lift your hands and give him praise your life will never be the same hallelujah now very while standing all of you there are people here inside and outside who are saying man of God for me I need to reconnect with God either you have never truly made Jesus Lord of your life probably you were invited or coming here again and again but you are saying enough is enough I want to take God seriously some of you who have been here you love God but for some reason challenges and pressures pushed you and you push God out it's time to re it never will happen outside of Christ never will happen in one minute we are out of time wherever you are as they begin to celebrate them please leave your seat inside and outside don't wait for anybody to start coming before you come leave your seat and come and say I want to truly get serious with Jesus Christ find your way quickly please save time they are coming from outside celebrate them play the way for them celebrate them keep coming come and line up before Jesus Christ please as you come be very very serious be very very serious as you come out keep coming clap for them koinonia God is harvesting his people to change their stories. Say, say no to the devil. Don't sit back there when you should be out. You know the voice of God. You can't pretend you are not hearing it. You know the voice your way to the front. Please win that war in your life. This is about your destiny. Forget about whoever knows you or who doesn't know you. Make your way to the front. Jesus is calling you for a new beginning. The devil has been cheating you. This is 2015. It's the year of the rain. You can't allow the devil to destroy your life again. If there are still more people as I lead them to pray, please make your way to the front. It matters your relationship with God. Don't say it does not matter. It's not just about... Um, it's permitted. Hallelujah. Let's... Hold hands together with someone by your left and right. And in one minute, let's just invest prayer into the UK conference. 
just make declarations of faith while you are seated and for our family following from across the globe I like us to just declare in the name of Jesus that it will be an outpouring indeed upon Europe UK the neighboring nations we are coming in the name of the Lord he said blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord that there will be a reign of salvation a reign of revival that mighty apostles and prophets and teachers and pastors men and women will be ignited with genuine apostolic fire in the name of Jesus declare over the team living from here to the UK declare over delegates who are coming from all across the globe and many around and across Europe who have traveled already and those who are on their way I like us to declare that it will be a seamless program no hassles no issues not with government not with law enforcement agents is someone praying the conference is everybody's business decree and declare pray over the workforce pray over the spiritual climate across Manchester the UK and Europe in general that in the name of Jesus the fire that has been lost for many many years and decades that it will please the Lord to use this conference to reignite again the sound of revival we are praying as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we are praying as a global family that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God curses yokes foundational covenants that have bound people territories and nations would come to an end the power and influence broken over Europe there will be an emergence of people young and old bearing that light and that fire of salvation and revival once again this we decree this we declare we agree by faith that in the name of Jesus this will be our experience that this conference will answer to its name For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. A veteran in business, you are a veteran in ministry. But for the next five minutes, I want to leave you here at Global Impact. I don't know whether it's a song you will sing. I don't know whether it's your tears that will do the singing. I don't know whether you will roll on the ground. But I want you to remember in one minute the goodness and the faithfulness of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Go ahead and thank him. Don't be embarrassed. Let the world watch you worship him. That's how we rise in this kingdom. That's how we multiply. Oh, we acknowledge you, oh God, the doer of great things over Global Impact Church. Think about your life. Think about his lifting. When you didn't have a job, when you didn't have a spouse, when you didn't have a child, Majesty, your Majesty. Your grace has found me just as I am Empty handed but alive in your hands Majesty Cry before your maker Majesty Majesty Forever I am changed by your love In the presence 
of your majesty Forever I am helped by your love In the presence of your majesty Forever lifted by your love In the presence of your majesty You get the glory you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. So in my life, in my life, be glorified, be glorified. In this house. Be glorified, be glorified. You get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Go ahead. Don't be tired. You're not wasting your time. How can I be ashamed to tell the world you lifted me? I'll be here thanking you all of the days of my life. If God if God built this church, may he build your reputation. May he build your influence. May he build your business. May he build your ministry. May he build your family. May he build your children. The building started and it did not finish. If God was Alpha, Omega, over this house then I declare if he has started as Alpha in your life may he also be Omega every uncompleted project in your life physical building relationships destiny ministry the grace for completion the finishers anointing may it rest upon you now The same way your pastor lived to see this project. You will never start anything and leave it halfway in death. Now I speak to everything that has refused to grow. In the name of Jesus, one of the characteristics of living things is that they grow. Whatever has refused to grow, I bow my knees before this altar and I command it, grow now. Grow now. For every door that needs to be opened, every gate for your next level, I speak to it, Ephata, be open now. Ephata, be open now. Gates of influence, be open now. Gates of speed, be open now. Gates of abundance, be open now. Please rise up on your feet. May it never be said you had a better yesterday. And hear me, please. For everyone who has contributed in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make this project a reality. I cannot but speak over your life. Everyone, I know that people have labored in prayer. People have sown seeds and are still sowing seeds into this project. I stand in faith with Pastor Yemi Davids and his dear wife, the leadership, and in the name of Jesus under this corporate anointing, we declare that hand that gave is the hand that will hold what multiplies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, from today and forever, may this church and everyone connected to this grace, now and as many as the Lord will bring, everything in and around your life begins to multiply. Exponential multiplication. That the testimonies that will begin to be shared from this altar will be testimonies of strange multiplication. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have two minutes and I'm off the stage. There are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying, Apostle, I desire multiplication, but I'm not even alive to myself. I know that whilst attending this conference, I have heard speaker after speaker, but I know that I need Jesus Christ. I do not want to just get things and at the end of my life lose my soul. You came to church. And those who are saying, Apostle, I love Jesus, but for some reason my life has gone haywire. I do not want this conference to end without my life experience in order. Wherever you are, we just have one minute for you. We have to work with time. Please, wherever you are, I'm going to count one to five. Jesus is speaking to you. While we were worshiping for you, he was saying the only way you will tell me thank you is to hand over your entire life to my influence. Wherever you are, as I count one to five, finally win that war. I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain. These two categories of people, I'd like you to come and stand in front. If you are coming, run quickly. One, global impact. Are we celebrating salvation? Two. Run to Jesus. Don't allow anybody to stop you. Three. I give you my heart, Lord. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Keep coming. Don't be ashamed. I live for you. I love every breath that I take. Please don't kneel because of space. Have your way. Global impact starts with global harvest. Come. And you who are following from any nation, any center, watching or will be watching by way of internet, television, hear the word of the Lord. He is calling you to start a rich and a meaningful relationship. From where you are, you can begin a genuine relationship with Jesus. The Bible declares that if our hope is only in this life, it says we are of all men most miserable. You are here, you are still saying, Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them. If you are not sure, it's a sign that you are not saved. I appreciate all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. It's an honor to stand on behalf of Pastor Yemi Davids to receive you and welcome you to the kingdom and then to this family of faith. Now, very quickly, I want to lead you to make this noble decision. Look up, please, everybody. Let me have your attention. The Bible says, ye must be born again ye must be born again that after this encounter you will never forget this day you will write this day and for the rest of your life you will know and you will believe from your heart that you made jesus lord are you ready to pray that prayer please lift your right hand high to the heavens and i want you to say this after me you're not reciting a poem jesus the king and the savior is here say after me lord jesus some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears he's here for you say lord jesus I have heard your word. I believe that you are Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for my justification. Right now, I declare that Jesus is my Savior, is my Lord, is my King. I declare that I am a recipient of eternal life into my spirit. The power of sin, the power of Satan, the power of hell 
and the grave is broken over my life. I receive the abundance of grace, the gift of righteousness, and I declare that from today till forever, I am a child of God. Amen. Keep those hands lifted. Father, we thank you for this one. Father, we thank you for this one. Father, Jesus, don't let me have a We're going to be seated shortly, but I'm seeing the number 34. There is a strong anointing coming on them. Those inside here, please bring them out, ushers. Right now, I stretch my hands across the length and the breadth of this place, inside, outside the overflows. 34 of them. You are drinking of a strange grace. Bring them out. Take that grace now. Take that grace. Take that fire. Bring them out. Shele parutasia, embrakato shelia. This is koinonia. Shila paruske barutiasha. You're being shifted to dimensions in the spirit. Parush kelebrende ketalia skeba. Everyone pray in the spirit. Shele barakata skeba. Rekete baruto skobadiata. Just bring only those in the main auditorium those in the overflows you can bring them to the front of your projector screens i shift you by prophecy new dimensions levels in the spirit dimensions in the spirit encounter grace encounter grace up the balcony encounter grace in the name of jesus a man can receive nothing except it is given unto him from the lord the spirit of the lord is asking me to prophesy speed for someone the days of delay shakata a grace is coming upon your destiny speed 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 by the spirit help them please by the spirit of the living god Please, whether you are an usher or not, help them. In the name of Jesus, the overflows, the basement, outside, I declare grace upon your destiny. Grace upon your destiny. Shetas kabaranto Fire upon your destiny. New dimensions in the spirit. If it's not by your spirit. Hallelujah. We'll be seated shortly, but let me speak over a closed door over someone's life. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Tonight is not a miracle service. But I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I decree and declare, hear me, 
in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God that any door that has refused to open over your destiny I declare over it a father be open a father be open a father be open be open be open doors of ministry be open doors of power be open please open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit inside outside those following online go ahead and pray in the spirit edify your spirit man this is koinonia Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Shake up aratos katos. Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Building capacity in the spirit. Majesty. Shebeleke parados sabia. Shebaratos kebranda na baladamus. Shala barakatos sabrena kebranda na baladamus. Just as I am in the presence of your majesty, yeah. and forever to take by your love in the presence of your majesty, majesty. those in front here before you go back to your seats I decree and declare that everything that represents captivity in your life comes to end now and that this grace you have contacted will speak again and again in your life in the name of Jesus please go back to your seat if you can God bless you there is a woman here this is one two three four five years You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Where is she? Hair of Samson grew back by the mercy of God. I decree and declare that his mercy speaks to that issue now. Everything dead or dying in your life, by this proclamation, it jacks back to life now. But like I always say, there are two areas that are my main focus. Number one is your spiritual life. Number two is your finances. Let me speak over both. In the name of Jesus, that the least among us here, may you be as great as David. That the least among us globally, the global koinonia family, may the least among us by grace be as great as David. And even for the body of Christ, 
in the name of Jesus Christ may God begin to mature the saints across denominations across regions across nations in the name of Jesus Christ then I pray for your finances that when men say there is a casting down for you I decree and declare by the power of prophecy may you say there is a lifting up I want you to believe there is a grace for what I'm telling you I'm saying it again in the name of Jesus anyone here who is in need of financial breakthroughs because of seasons in your life that you're in I stand by the God who has shown mercy that in the name of Jesus may those doors be open speedily open speedily open speedily may my God touch the heart of men to bring treasures and blessings to you and let me pray over you whatever it is that you do the work that you do whether ministry your career business whatever it is in the name of Jesus I empower it to begin to produce results in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus name I pray just a minute or two you can go ahead and celebrate Jesus I want to make the altar call right now hallelujah everything happens in this kingdom because God designed a system seed time and harvest impartation spiritual growth and now salvation let's minimize movement as I make this altar call it is always my joy and delight to give people an opportunity who need Jesus sincerely and desperately in their life the Bible says the Lord added daily to them as many as should be saved every time God's people come there are always those who are to be saved there are people here in this auditorium and all the overflows following by way of television and the internet you are saying apostle thank you so much I desire to begin this experience with God but I need the salvation of my soul or you are here you are saying apostle I love Jesus but my life has gone haywire and I need restoration please make sure that you are not ashamed to say anyone is looking at me this is between you and the God of heaven wherever you are we have just one minute for you I want you to leave your seat right now and come and stand here everyone God bless you people are coming take that bold step and come to Jesus God bless you as you come make sure you win that war you are rededicating your life to Jesus you are making that decision God bless you they are coming are you celebrating them all the other the overflows you follow suit come to Jesus he's able to give you a new beginning you can start afresh again apostle I want to come but I'm not sure I remember giving my heart to Jesus but things have gone haywire can I join them you are most welcome very quickly join them he's able to save even to the uttermost he will give you a new beginning hallelujah young and old keep coming hallelujah if you're joining them please hurry up I want to pray now thank you so much for all of you who have come to make this decision the Bible says as many as would come to him he will in no wise despise thank you for the courage to make this glorious decision Jesus said if you reject me before men or deny me before men that I would deny you before my father here's a chance for you to start afresh with Jesus even if not anew he gives you room to start afresh thank you so much for coming I want you to lift your right hand if you will all of you who are here and those who are connecting by way of television and internet you can pray the same prayer the power of God is there to ensure that you become recipients of this glorious life say Lord Jesus say it again convincingly say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now you don't even know hallelujah 
I didn't know that this can be added to make this. And he adds it and will spice up that meal. And by the time you serve the guests, you serve them with honor. There are many of us, the only thing in your destiny with respect to cooking like this is maybe rice, salt, and the pot. Ah, that's too ordinary for an extraordinary meal. There are ingredients that you need to carry. By the privilege of God's grace, among the many who have been gifted in the body of Christ, we have come as privileged stewards, them that sell. That if your heart is open to receive, God can add glory and honor to that meal. Remember what I'm telling you now. Imagine someone serving you a meal and he says it is jollof rice or fried rice. And all you see is rice, salt, and maybe oil. Appa, is that a good meal? Even if the person kneels down to serve you. For many of you, that's what you have been serving the world. That's why they've been ignoring you. This is too common. We have alternatives. But in this conference, that master chef is adding some, adding something. He said, add to this, add to this, this one, add to this, this one. He's adding to your sincerity wisdom, to your wisdom character, to your character fire. Now you carry these ingredients and anywhere and everywhere you go, the fragrance. Listen, there are people who do not need to come to the kitchen to know what is happening there. There is a fragrance that comes from the kitchen. Is that true? That you can be in the living room and literally you can be distracted. Not intentionally, but by reason of the wonder happening in the kitchen. And you get up and you will want to go to the kitchen. Gentiles shall come to your light. There has to be something that attracts them. Micah chapter 4 talks about this end time church. It says that men will call upon themselves and say, Come, let us go to the house of the Lord. For there he will teach us his ways. Someone is ready to pray. Father, my life is too ordinary. Let the grace that produces an extraordinary life fall upon me. Please cry to the Lord from the depth of your heart. No distraction, no looking around. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Shanika. Makes kote makata. Embreke te katosh. Lekreke te barakato sheketa. Please pray. Embra te kete kete bakatos koto pata. Shadike te beleketa. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. My head has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I'm anointed with fresh oil. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, pray. Father, turn my life around. Change my story by your anointing. 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 Turn my ministry around. By your anointing. Turn my business around. By your anointing. Turn my career around. Turn my family around. Ela 
Rakata Baranda Sada Balagata Brato Sadi and this Sabranda get the Barakoto and in this year 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 and in Brandos and the Pacata day and the Brada day and the Brada day and the Brada times like a tata. We I will interpret that vision. We have to pray. Rise up on your feet. Lift your voice and pray for these dimensions of encounters. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Shalabrandes Kepahushiatas. Please pray. Father, open my spirit to your word. I confess my ignorance. I love you, but I have not learned your ways. I have studied my Bible, but I am yet to understand the scope of your ways. Grant me access to spiritual illumination, light, very specific light. Mention the areas in your life that you seek to see the outstretched arm of God. Grant me light in the area of my finances, O God. Grant me light in the area of my health. Grant me light in the area of my spiritual work. Grant me light in the area of ministry. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and the foundations of the earth are out of course. But I have said, thou art God's, and all of you are children of the Most High. It says, you shall die like men, men and fall like one of these princes. Someone is praying. Father, I now know why I keep having visions and having dreams, but my interpretations are faulty and is destroying my ministry. Grant me stability through accurate understanding of Scripture. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because of our time, I'll be praying for the sick and, and just speaking over our lives in the, in the final service to wrap up the conference. We have to respect the time. But then I hope I'll, I may not do so much of teaching. I'll just have the time to just minister. And please let your heart be open. Let your heart be open so that the sacrifice that you have made all through this conference will... <laughs> La kata kata kasege te bako sotoba, mabrato sobrete shabara da bala da bala da bala.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny, I tear it down tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Separate from God's sort of us. I tear it down. All that's of delay. All that's of barrenness. All that's of failure. yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone while doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness Shabbat Kata Matele Kodosia Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Let's go, 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 let's go
Aleluya. We're really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We're still praying, please. We're still praying. Shalapakaya. We're still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We're still praying. We're making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Altars, altars. That are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny. Because of where I'm coming from. I prophesy tonight. Your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Altars associated with territories. Associated with territories. I come against you by the God of heaven. I come against you. Pray, pray. I come against you. Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years. But it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders authorize the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen, I don't care how many, call it. Listen, you are going to call them one by one and say, I stand as an altar and I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. 
Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is. In the name of Jesus. I command it to my life now. Lift your voice and pray. You don't have to travel. Call it everywhere it is. Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell Him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding and watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Understanding, Lord, I inform the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. It's about proper understanding and application. So it's not just coming to lie down here. That, no, 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 no. The altar is a revelation. We are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives. Listen. Because many of us here, the only time you pray is when you are together with people. Satan started attacking you. He gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life. He will never attack it at once. He can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication, the grace to pray, I receive it right now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Fire, fresh fire on my altar. Fresh grace to pray. Fresh grace to fast. Fresh grace to intercede. Fresh grace for warfare. I command every death prayer life around my life. Come back to life. Come back to life.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point and I will pray for you. There are many of us, the Spirit of God started revealing things to you because you were meeting with Him every day. But something happened. No more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life. No access to illumination. You used to be, you used to have projects that you and God are on. You can literally say we are on a faith project. But now there's nothing like that. Your life has become stale and barren. Some of you is when you started ministry. This, this so-called thing called ministry. That's what destroyed you. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. And the fire will fall upon you. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. I ask. That you manifest yourself. Once again. In my life. Holy Spirit. I cry for intimacy. Afresh with you. Lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Jalakosia kata. I tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies. I pray for you now. I'm praying for you. In the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as I speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three I command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of God will come on people one two three I command those altars now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just, I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim, that altar is speaking. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now by fire. I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job. They tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception. Everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category. But in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside following online. Anyone who has been a victim. Of total failure and disappointment. Right now in the name of Jesus. That 
fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I command total deliverance. Help them, help them, please. Total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Put down your hands. Ladies, keep your hands lifted. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. There are many ladies, let me tell you. Many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady who a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege I'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those barrenness i cost it by the god of heaven i cost it by the god of heaven hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands Lord I pray whoever came into this meeting whether online offline and belongs to that category in the name of Jesus as I'm praying now I command I'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all I see Lord let it be right now I, I break that marriage I break that spiritual marriage I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is. Right now in Jesus name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus, whether inside or outside, you are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know but we're rounding up please just just be patient with me 
I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people. Yoruba people, there is there is something a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people. You know how God acts as I'm speaking now. Everyone associated with that territory, I place the word of God now in the name of Jesus. Let that sword of deliverance, I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance. I command it now inside and outside in the name of Jesus. No escape, no escape for any power of darkness. Every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here. You watch what happens to your life from this meeting. Anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation i command that mark to be erased from your life now ah, i command that mark to be erased from your life now i command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.